welcome into getting help from Uncle Sam. And we have a major election coming up, and we have chosen to come to you, our audience who wants to be educated, and have someone who can explain differences in the platforms between the Democrats and the Republicans so that when you vote, not if you vote, when you vote, Amen. you make an educated decision. And we are lucky to have with us today Nancy Worley, who is the chairman of the Democratic Party. And we are going to talk today about subjects that are of concern to not only our seniors but actually to everyone and that is we would we would like to have a little bit of a discussion about the democratic party and where you stand as far as the subject of national security and with that specifically uh, we hear so much about how the military has been stripped and where the democratic party stands on that particular topic of security national security, which also involves immigration. And we'll move to that later. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, the Democratic Party is very much in favor of a strong defense. The Democratic Party has been a longtime supporter of our defense forces and our military, all branches of our military. I think it's very important to note how many of the military are strong supporters and quite vocal now about their support for the Democratic Party. And I think what everybody sees is, yes, you cut back some, but so much of our defense force now has become so technologically elite, and you don't use as many on-the-ground troops anymore mm -hmm. as you once did. You don't go out and fight your battles with bayonets or you don't go out and fight them with the same kind of weaponry that we used when we had these huge forces in mm -hmm. the military. So we're using much more sophisticated weapons which the Democratic Party has supported and voted for th through the years. Uh, we use uh, a smart technology and I think that that has made a difference in the defense budget. And then of course we all remember when all these findings about the expensive toilet seats at the mm -hmm. Pentagon or whatever. And I yeah. think, you know, again, the government has had to look at many of those expenditures and say, now, are we really paying too much yes. for some items? And let's look at, let's be realistic about the cost of these. I mean, I can't remember how much that toilet seat cost, but it was an exorbitant amount. You could have bought several bathrooms with what I think mm -hmm. was paid for that. And, you know, quite often, and, and we've all heard people say, oh, well, if the government's paying for it, it really right. doesn't matter how much it costs. No. Well, yes, it does matter how much it costs Your because taxpayers are paying for that. And so you have to look at every single item in the budget. And Democrats strongly support looking at every item and making sure that the taxpayers are getting their money's worth. And I think that's what we look at in terms of national defense and security is that we want to make sure that the dollars that go into that are wisely used and that they're not just squandered just for the sake of spending money. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I can appreciate that. I know that we hear a great deal from the military, being particularly here in Montgomery with all of the cyber that's going on, that our war is already being fought in cyberspace. But we also are aware that uh, one of my questions as a voter would be, uh, there is not funding for a lot of that sophisticated cyber warfare that is desperately needed because there is an availability out there of being able to stop a, a, an, an ISIS bomber just with something the size of a pen, mm -hmm. but the money has not been appropriated to the military. And I would want to know uh, sequestration. Uh, the, the Republicans want to pretty much lift that, get rid of that, I think. And where do the Democrats stand on that? Well, I think it's very important to look at the platforms of each party because okay. mm -hmm. the Democrats are extremely interested in making sure that the taxpayers get a wise use for each tax dollar. And the Democrats very much want to support a strong defense and a strong military. But again, let's not waste money on unnecessary mm -hmm. items. You know, you don't need Agreed. multiple items when 
you can have two or three that mm -hmm. would work well. Uh, and of course, all of your, as you say, cyber technology and warfare is extremely expensive. Mm -hmm. And in, at right now, our defense budget, of course, takes a significant portion of our national budget. And again, if you give taxpayers the option of, do you want to raise your taxes to pay more for military weaponry, or do you want to cut back on Social Security, or do you want to cut back on some other government program? Many of them will say, well, you know, I'd like to go back to days of yesterday. I'd mm -hmm. like to go back and <laughs> not, not spend quite so many millions and billions of dollars on some of the, the weaponry. And so, again, that's a decision that our military leaders right. have to make. And I think it has to be a wise use of tax dollars, which the Democrats strongly support. Good. Nancy, we thank you for taking the time to be with us. The website is the Alabama Democratic Party. It's aldemocrats.org. With an S on the end. Four. Go to there. <laughs> look at the platform. Uh, it's, it's probably about uh, 48 pages long. <laughs> Read it through. And uh, if there's anything in there, call Nancy. She will take your calls. And we'll be right back right after this.